everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Arm with the Stock Swoosh and Reviewing. Basically gaps and options just to go over a scenario here for people if they want to understand really a little bit more about why trading options is advantageous. So back on April 6, right in here, in fact, let me look at what time I called it. It was 9.41. 9.41 in the morning, I sent out an email for the 3.55 QQQ puts. This was a profitable trade if you get out of it here, if you get out of it here, if you get out of it here, and if you got out of it this morning, and if you're still in it now, and even if you're still in it, it doesn't expire till 4.14. So literally, the low today was 3.41. So this has gone $14 through the strike. The trade, again, is through uh, April 14th, which is Thursday um, of this week because of the holiday. So when you look at this, you say, oh my goodness, you know, you can really understand here how trading options could be so profitable. Be why? Because of overnight moves that happen in what? In gaps. In gaps. Now, why I love when a big move happens of the day, like for example, this, this in here, you see this, 338 was the high 324. That move on the day, it's a good solid fat red bar that happened $14 basically on that particular day on the day. This was a $14 move again in a series of days, but happened in the gap down. So sometimes trades happen, you can get in and out the same day. Sometimes big trades happen overnight. But the reality is that one of the reasons it makes it profitable to be in the options newsletter is because I'm very accurate reading one directional bias, okay, which I use my gap rating system to read it, to see the gap's gonna continue or reverse, okay, whether we get long or short. And number two then, again, I'm looking for big moves. I'm looking for momentum. That's the whole point of training. We're not scalping in and out little biddies. Now, it's different if I get out with a small percentage on something because I'm holding it to the last day or the next to the last day. That's much different. This, in fact, again, today is only April 11th. You could still be in this trade, all right? And the reality is that getting something where it follows through overnight in the direction you're in it, which of course this did, is what makes it so powerful, powerful to trade gaps. Now, you know, I didn't call any longs in this, so I'm just gonna use this as an example here. Again, I did not do this or call any trades in this, but if you had gone long the market here, it gapped up overnight here. So if you had gone long at anywhere in here, say, I'm just saying, if you had done the 330 calls, the stock gapped up to over 330 and ran up to 340, you would have been up a lot here if you were in a call. I did not do that. I did not call that in the newsletter at all. But I'm just using, showing you an example, again, of something that would be a bullish move, whereas this was a bearish move. Again, okay? this was a put. So, again, trading options can be very powerful. If you look at them and analyze them the way that I do based on the gap, you cannot short every gap, down gap. You cannot go long every up gap. You can't. And you can't do the reverse in it either, which a lot of people think you could do as far as gap fills. The reality is that gap trading is so powerful. It's really the only way I'm convinced of doing this as long as I've been doing it now since 2008, 14 years going on 15. That the only way to make money is to have a strategy that works in any given market and to have a niche. And my niche is gaps and particularly shorts, okay? Because I've gotten so good at shorts, I can also see when strength is there. So we know when to go long. And we will be going long in earnings season. We will. Earnings season starts in two days. But this is a very, very good example here where there was a beautiful follow through of the gap down in the QQQs, way past the strike, nice call. And again, you know, you have to decide how you want to, how much you want to risk on your trades yourself. Um, your trade risk should be consistent in every trade that you take. You could have taken a couple of contracts, got out a half before the weekend, held some into the close, something like that. Whatever works for you, but again, it's the idea of booking money, chunking it out, and, and, and following the system. So if you're interested in more information about how to sign up for the Gap Options newsletter, it's $69.99 a year, $49.99 for a six-month subscription. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.